I have a little brother who's eight years old, and there's he does this. He has like a virtual world world thing, and if you give him the computer, he loses the sense of everything around him, and he's on it for like four hours non-stop. He's just playing on the computer. Because games do have a sort of adventure and a storyline that gets you hooked. And some games even get you like addicted, like you want to play every day. You get hooked onto it and you can't let go until you've finished the game. You have to keep playing and keep playing and it doesn't end. So you keep just you just keep playing these games until you fin until you finish them and then you beg for some more games and because the the companies keep making more games, children always have more games to play. I think it's just that the advertising that they use nowadays is just so convincing that children want it. They won't they won't love their pet. They won't re they won't really show any respect for their parents until they have it. Um, it's because they the voice, um, the voice when they're speaking and the thing. Say if it was like chocolate, they'll say they talk about it like caramel and stuff like that, delicious, and they'll put like wow words in it, and they'll even show you a picture of it, and and they'll show you someone actually biting it, and they'll show what's inside and stuff like that. It's just like. You, I need this. Everybody else has got it. I need it. Because, like, you see the children on the TV having it. And you're like, I, I, I want to be like them. I want to have it like them. Well, to be honest with you, I have to do chores to get money. And each chore costs, like, 50p. So if I want a doll for £15, I have to do, like, 30 chores to get 50p. It's quite hard. But normally I don't buy anything big. I'm saving up for stickers for a sticker book and they cost 50p each packet. So I normally do chores. And um, I'm not sure, well, I've got most things really. I don't really need anything else, but. I can see it's fake. And that's why a lot of these singers around there, they're fake as well, so. It's like technology it is it's fake, it's not real. Like some technology, it's life size and it's 3D and stuff like that. But to be honest with you, most of that stuff on like the like the games and stuff like that is fake. Even though like Call of Duty, it's fake. You can see it's fake. You can't learn from a computer because it's all program and binary code. You can learn from nature because it's unpredictable. It's unpredictable. You don't know what's going to happen next. You're letting go of all like all of the stress and like. It'll just, it's like, it's like you're just getting out of a really cramped space and just, it's like you're exploring. Exploring like a worldwide features like jungles and forests and maybe even alleyways. Like you're just exploring something really new. Kids and like everyone, all human beings, they strive for the better and sometimes they think they put a goal and say, like they say their net's really high, they'll say, I want to achieve that, I want to go up there and I want to jump off. Like you, like, you want to try something new so, so life isn't boring. It's the parents, there's criminal activity going out. So there's maybe murder, there's gangs, there's, yeah, just criminal activity activity so it really destroys the neighborhood and the parents get scared so the children don't go out and the recent riots didn't help at all. What about dangerous people and that's probably why parents don't want their children out on the streets so it, I'd probably blame them because that's why parents don't want their children to go out as much and maybe all, all the traffic on the roads that causes chaos and it's it's dangerous. For a start, you don't want to lie. You don't. You want to tell the truth, but you want to tell the truth as in, you want to, you want to tell the truth. But then what you want to do is you want to back it. Is you then want to put a counter argument to the truth. So say if you said, oh, there is the fact that you could get, that you could get eaten by a grizzly bear. But so long as you take the eye to quit when, and do the right thing, you will never, you will never get eaten by a grizzly bear.
seriously go outside man this, this is gonna be for a limited time it's only gonna be probably in two billion years it's gonna go completely so spend most of your time outside now <laughs>